what I wanted for the game was something new to feel smaller and you know what we're telling is a human story of individuals and and we wanted the music to do that not just be big and orchestral all the time when you first reached out to me and the possibility of working on uh, call of duty vanguard came up i was like okay you want a big orchestral sound I, I, I could do that but then when i got into it with you and we started really like digging into the details i could see the vision that you had which was smaller instruments that actually cut through the mix more than the big orchestral colors. The, the, the idea to go really big is always a starting point. But what's interesting to me is when you, you start smaller, you can get these voices, these sounds, this texture that, that cuts through. It's like a laser beam cutting through all the sound effects. I like dynamic range. I like things to stand out, right? And I like letting everything else take a bat seat and let that stand out in the mix and be and, and take the forefront. And it just feels gritty and dirty, um, but but in a really cool and interesting way. And 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 I wanted the same for the score. For one of the first times in my career, I recorded before we really wrote anything. Before you wrote a note. It was very almost improvisatory. We were just getting textures. We had this body of work, this collection of agitated, strange string ensemble textures. We didn't have the score, we had the starting point. From there, it broadened out and we brought in more players. And we now had the template set for how to approach them. With a combination of material that was written in advance, notes on the page that they would play, and then we'd ask them for their input. We'd ask them to improvise. And I think that that kind of collaboration between everybody at Sledgehammer, myself, and the players, that's what yielded this really unique sound in Vanguard. I, I loved that you wanted to work like that, right? Like, like <laughs> yeah. I, I love, because ex again, experimentation is exactly, it's exactly I, how I work. We wanted to do something different, and for and for me, there's there's always, there's a bit of, you know, trepidation in doing something like that, right? Because it's like, oh man, this is Call of Duty, and, and there's a certain, you know, sound that is usually associated with Call of Duty, and we want to sort of break that mold and do something entirely different. From that starting point, I wanted to bring in Sandy Cameron, who's one of the most exciting artists that I've ever worked with. Sandy brings this virtuosic energy, and she can also improvise. Normally, I would just write the theme and have the player play it. But in this case, in the spirit of doing that improvisation, I wrote a bunch of stuff. And we wouldn't decide what Paulina's theme would be until we had the audio of Sandy playing it, and we dropped it in, and it happened organically. Then these notes, under her fingers, that's Paulina's theme. It's, it's powerful because the I think the player and the audience recognizes that quickly. Whenever that violin comes in, right, you know it, you hear it, it's so clear, it cuts through, and it becomes this powerful moment of like, of feeling the, what's the internal dynamics of this character and what they're feeling. What's neat about Vanguard is that we have all these intimate, raw, scratchy, personal moments but when we want to be more heroic, when we want to be more emotional, when our heroes come together in these surgically selected moments, we have this huge orchestra recorded at Abbey Road in London, recorded like a gigantic Hollywood movie. This is very much an epic, soaring, bombastic orchestral score. It's when we choose to do that, that I think sets apart Vanguard. Yeah, I think the, the score in, in, in what we did uh, I think really elevates music in our game um, in a really powerful and interesting way. We started this whole thing wanting to take some risks, wanting to do something to change the sound, to be risky, bold, and experimental, but deep down inside, I'm hoping that it just becomes part of Call of Duty. I want them to have this emotional experience and just go, oh, that's what Call of Duty sounds like. Because it's a feeling more than an actual sound. It's the emotion, it's the soul of the story. And, and if it can accomplish that, if, if, if players will play this game and they will feel sort of infused in, these, in, in this story and really understand and feel the emotions of these characters, and if music can help that, and if music can, can pull people along in that storytelling, then, then I think it was incredibly successful. <laughs>